Hey everyone and welcome to another edition of Burton Ballers and Chelsea are the only team in the Premier League not to make a sign in yet as yet and the fans are getting restless so in this video I'm going to ask who is going to be our first official sign in. Welcome to the Burton Ballers Ain't got no time for no stallers yet We are the risers, we're not the fallers Our channel is growing wider and taller Yeah we're here to give you the news about your dear beloved blues. Yeah. So if you like this YouTube channel, like, subscribe and turn on that bell. Yeah. So guys, it's what, um, probably almost a month into the new, over a month now into the transfer, just under a month actually since the window has opened and Chelsea have been monitoring, they've been um, in talks with, they've been close to deals but nothing has been done yet and the fans are asking what is happening, what is happening? But guys, you know, there's so much impatience going on in the fan base. I've addressed it in a few videos but listen, you know, we are making moves. Over, okay, admittedly, it would be it would have been good to have some players in before the um, pre-season started, but you know, we are, the thing is, is and a lot of people are saying it's app hazard as well, but what we're doing, we're testing the water with a number of targets. So yeah, we may have four winger options. We may have four central defender options because, you know, we have to deal with the selling club as well. We have to deal with the player. As we saw with Rafina, we've agreed to deal with Leeds, but Rafina doesn't want to join. So what can we do about it? It's not the ball's fault. It's not Thomas Tuchel's fault. Um, and um, in other, like the Delict one, it's a case of... Uh, Okay, the player badly wants to join us, but we've got to get that deal right with um, Juventus. We just can't play anything they're asking. We've got a transfer budget, so we have to get the deal that's best for us and best for the club. So, with that being said, who's going to be our first signing? You know, because and it looks like it may be Raheem Sterling. Because as I was about to make this video, some breaking news came in from Sky saying that Chelsea are in advanced talks with Manchester City over the sign of Sterling. We're just talking about the structure of the deal now. And uh, there were um, uh, rumours going around uh, that he had already agreed to sell his house to um, Trent Alexander-Arnold. I hope he leaves a few bugs in there. You know, sort of, sort of, sort of, sort of, well, only joking. But, um, yeah, so he looks like he's going to be the first signing through the door. And um, De Ligt one by all concerns is that the, the teams are close to um, agreeing on a deal. Um, Jorginho has been mentioned as well, but they're saying that he's probably not going to be part of this deal, but he's, he's probably going to be a separate deal. I already spoke about why you know, swap deals are not favourable to some clubs already. So, and something else that I, I've read today from um, courtesy of um, uh, Kinsella, who now incidentally writes for The Standard rather than Goal. I think it was in the, um, also in The Athletic, I might have seen, is that Thomas Tuchel wants a profile of player that allows him to move back to a back four. And that should be music to everyone's ears because, OK, the back three served us well in certain games, especially against the big clubs. He's all come to the, the ones who, who, who like to um, come at you and play that high line. It works well but against the low block teams. I think we struggle with this back four. But adding an extra... Um, midfielder in there that means that we can be more expansive especially against these these low block teams and we can create more problems against them so um you have to get the personnel right that's why i think he's looking at the profile of someone like a delit and he's looking at somebody like a um an ake as well who are used to playing in in back fours um and so he can, I don't think he's going to be rigid in the back four. I think he'll be flexible. You know, sometimes there may be a need for a back three. Sometimes there'll be a need for a back four. But I'm hoping primarily that he will be playing a back four. And that's the thing. He's, you know, a lot of people are saying that we need to trust him. So let's trust him. He's, when he finally gets in the players that he wants to get in, that's when he can implement the style of football that he wants to play. So he used to play 4-4-2, 4 you want to call it, when he was at Dortmund and um, over at PSG. So he only changed it. And he did mention the reason why he's changed the way that he, he, he um, the, to the back three is because the, the personnel at Chelsea suited more of a back three rather than like a four at the back. So, and in you know, a to, to make that work we do need a true holding midfielder and you know what that's what I'm saying about transfers sometimes you know sometimes 
just because you haven't got that player yet you don't know what is going on in the background i have a feeling and this is just a hunch so this isn't no inside information or something uh, there's a hunch for me that um deccan rice may be coming through the door but it'll be later in the window and west ham have, i know a lot of people are saying west ham said he's not for sale or whatever but if you look at the way west ham are doing their work they're buying a lot of players they've been linked with a holding midfielder today um by the name of unana and they've had a bid turned down, they may go in with another bid. So, hmm, why do you think they're going in for a holding midfielder? And, you know, they quote, you know, 23 million euros, I think it was, that they that they were bidding. But the selling club are asking for more. And it, what would have happened if they had sold um, Declan Rice to us early in this window? Then they'll say, you know what, they, they can afford it. So we're going to ask for double that price. But now, because if they are saying, look, this is all, all the sort of money that we've got and this is all we can afford, then, you know, the the, the, other, the selling club may soften in their stance. So that's, that's sometimes what goes behind transfers as well so we've got to remember that guys and um that's why and, and if we go back to that chelsea in our situation you know we've had we're looking at um Delic, we're looking at kunde and there's other defenders that have been mentioned and so what that does it, it allows us to have options so we don't want to be saying okay so if that deal falls to through our number one target which we would concentrate on then we'll move on to our second target a lot of fans are saying we need to be patient that's another thing they say we have to be patient because of what happened with Lukaku one we sort of panic bought because we couldn't get the Haaland one and then a lot of our fan base is saying why didn't we do what Man City did wait a season to try and get a target in rather than buying anyone so that's what we need to that's what we're probably doing we're probably waiting for our target our, our number one targets before moving on and trying to buy somebody else so we can't have it both ways guys what do you want so that is the update today but it, yeah as i said before sterling looks like the first signing which is going to be coming through the door and i'm sure more will follow in the weeks to come so don't stick your comments in the section below who else would you want at chelsea name the players you want in in, in the club are you panicking as well or are you ready to understand why the club are taking a bit of time in getting their targets so um thanks for watching the video and don't forget to like subscribe turn on all post notifications if you haven't done so already everyone on that plane up there if you haven't subscribed you know just subscribe on the airplane as it's flying past my house and i will see you guys on the next video so take care guys and bye bye